the Scrooge is here. The Scrooge. Oh, God. Oh, it's oh. the greatest. Oh, yes. Good morning, Stephen A. How do? How do? <laughs> Stephen A., I, I believe you're acquainted with our friend Will Kane here. Ah, how are you, sir? Mr. Scrooge, Mr. Well, Scrooge. Know, I mean, <clears throat> well, you know, while I was with my family last night, eating some lasagna and some chicken and all of that stuff, my sister Carmen is the greatest. Uh, I took the liberty of FaceTiming Mr. Will Kane. Mm -hmm. He was one of the people I FaceTimed. I FaceTimed Jamie Foxx. He hung up on me. <laughs> I FaceTimed Omar Epps from Love and Basketball, fabulous actor. He told me I better be in shape because the next time he sees me, I'm going to take some rib shots. Um, couldn't catch a whole bunch of other people that are Dallas Cowboy fans. They were hiding. The playmaker, Michael Irvin, nowhere to be found. APB out for him. I called the cops about him. <laughs> I'm looking for him. Can't find him. Suddenly, I can't find him. I'm talking to him all the time. Couldn't find him. Can't find him since last night. But I will give this man right here, Will King, some credit. He did answer that call, had his beautiful children in the background, you know, and, and it worked because when I saw him and I saw those little kids and thinking about Christmas and how they were going to be affected, I said, you know something? Old Stevie A can't do this to the kids because you know I love the kids. Mm -hmm. So as a result of that, I was light on this man. <laughs> but I decided that what I was going to do is I wrapped this present right here. Uh huh. This present right here is for cowboy fans across the world. Across the world. I'm going to open it on first take this morning. This is a special gift for cowboy fans hmm. everywhere hmm. that I will open on first take. It'll be my tribute because obviously, like I told y'all, Christmas is going to be ruined. Remember I told you that? Yes. Oh, Remember I told you that? Oh, I, told you that? I said Christmas is going to be ruined. So that's coming sure. up in 12 minutes. Will yes, Ken, sir. let's get you here. And, yes. and, and I, I want to do two things. A, I want to see everyone just, you know, mercilessly pound you. But I also want to hear your single biggest gripe from this. We've dissected every which way your Cowboys lost yesterday and let their season get away. Yeah. To you, if you have to pinpoint the one thing that bothers you the most, what is it? I'm the very, one thing that I'm bothers very, me the I'm, most. I'm very interested to hear. The one thing. Yeah. Can I have two? You can have as many as you want. Please. These two. Okay. <laughs> That's the two things that bother me the most. Stephen A. Smith and Dan Orlovsky. The only thing that interrupted Dan Orlovsky's gloating last night as he FaceTimed me with Stephen A. Smith's gloating as he FaceTimed me. <laughs> what kind of man, let me ask you the question. I have two questions for you, Greeny. Sure. What kind of man plays for years for the Detroit Lions and shows up in Eagle Green, a, a team he has never played for? A man who, one, was right, two, who's happily married. <laughs> he is not marry a Philly girl. I know. I give him credit, but Mr. Let's Dan Lesher. I will get there, Greeny. I will get to all the indictments that need to be made this morning because the only thing worse than a man who would gloat for a team he's never played for would be a man who delights in others' misery at Christmas time. And one who also apparently has a crystal ball to predict that exactly it would go down this way at Christmas time. I mean, your script was written, and I have to give it to you. It played out exactly as you wished. Yeah. Absolutely, without question. <laughs> and here's the deal. You see, people like him, cowboy fans across the world, they talk about the misery that's inflicted upon them. They never talk about the misery they inflict. They never talk about how annoying and disgusting and nauseating they can be when they are mediocre year after year after year, but will still look you in the face with a straight face and say to you, you know we're going to win the Super Bowl next year, right? This is what they do. <laughs> Everywhere. And no one says that. It doesn't matter what airport you're in. It doesn't matter what street you're walking down. It doesn't matter whether you're with your mama, your, your, your siblings, your, your, your brother. It doesn't matter. They will find a way to annoy you because they think they're so special when there is no evidence <laughs> well, over the last quarter century. What you have done is, okay. is a good fan. Right. Really? Now. Let me ask you a question. By the way, I'm keeping a list. I'm keeping a list, and you're on it, too. I, I just, I'm, you're I on it, too, I Mr. I, Sam Darnold is a better quarterback than Dak Prescott. Oh, I remember. Did you watch Sam Darnold? Oh, my. Sam Darnold would have hit Amari Cooper interject. on that. Man, interject. Talk, talk, talk. 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 Man, talk. 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 Man, talk. interject. Yeah. Because isn't, that, isn't it not true that less than 12 or rather 24 hours after the Dallas Cowboys have blown yet another season, you're trying to deflect? No, you're trying to get, I am the, ready. That's no, what you do. I'm just counterpunching. I can guarantee you that Jason Garrett will be fired within the next 10 days or so.
he's pretty much gone. It's going to happen. He will not be back. The question is not about Jason Garrett anymore. The die has been cast. What the question is now is, what direction do they go in? I suspect that it's going to be that Urban Meyer you're hearing about who won 90% of his games at Ohio State. It. He I will take it. Is that in here? He is that in here? He, he absolutely wants the job with the Dallas Cowboys. Whether or not Jerry Jones is going to be on. willing to give it to him is, remains to be seen. Are you going to so, open a picture of Urban Meyer on first take? No. <laughs> Please. Wait, I need to clarify something. Please. You still, after what has transpired over the last month between the two quarterbacks and mainly yesterday, still – Think that Dak Prescott is a better player than Carson Wentz? I told you I'm keeping this list, and he joined it again last night with his, this tells us so much about these two quarterbacks. You don't, you. Carson Wentz outplayed Dak Prescott last night. I want to give credit where credit is due. I like this Carson year. Wentz. Well, this year. let's just be clear about something, okay? If GetUp has any graphics they want to put up or something like this, I want to really hammer this home for the folks. Mm -hmm. Carson Wentz outplayed Dak Prescott and ran his career record against Dak Prescott to two and four. Bravo. Can yeah. I respond to that? In, in, in head-to-head head performances, hey, one hey, hey, has Dan. statistics that hey, dominate and one... No, are, hey, hey, buddy, I got you. I'm running I got out of time. Back. Like Stephen A., final Zach. word, we're running out of time. No. Yes. Final word is this. Look at Carson that. Wentz outplayed Dak Prescott yesterday without his number one, That's fact. number two, two or three. number three receiver. That's fact. And For you no to right say tackle. that well, on this day to be fair. is blasphemous and typical of the pathetic cowboy fan that you are. And God bless you this Christmas because you're messing it up for to your be kids. Fair. Silence. To be fair. Silence. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.